Creator's Gospel on the Word or the World Show live on Facebook at Word or World and YouTube page Williams Media Group LLC. That's live every Monday evening, 7 p.m. and on Tuesdays, a re air on 102.3 FM, the Rejoice Crawford Broadcasting. Hey, this is your buddy AJ Williams, the media guy. Are you a woman 18 years or older dealing with a financial crisis or legal issues? Can't purchase a home, vehicle, want to start a business, but can't seem to find a solution? Well, here on the Chicago Talk Health and Wealth Building Series, we like to offer you solutions to your crisis. Every Wednesday at 6 p.m., streaming live on Facebook at Her World Media or Chicago Talks and on YouTube at Williams Media Group LF. Hey, it's your buddy AJ Williams, the media guy. Come join the the Her World Media Herbolution every Wednesday at 6 p.m. at Her World Media on Facebook. All news, all sports, all women, all the time. Well, hey, Monday, we apologize. I guess we missed a couple of Mondays. You know, I'm I'm AJ Williams. I'm here with Jay Williams, the script director. Yes, uh, before we get into the Ripton, since we're talking about politics god has his politics but we live here in rome so we do as man do i have a young lady latasha h fields she's running on the ticket uh for lieutenant governor so they having a big oh well a uh, kind of a little talk about politics uh fix where you live down here at 2225 east 71st street that's in Chicago. They're going to be in the barbershop with Devin R. Jones. Talk about does the poly, party really matter? Voter registration and FOIA card application assistance. How responsible government works. How to affect elections. And how to build a political machine that works for the people. Well, again, you know, we talk on religion here, but we do live in the world. So, and this is one of my young ladies. It's part of my, one of my uh, brands of her world media that deals with women. So I'm pushing her. So I, I gave that public announcement. I did my good deed for the people for the day. Now we can talk about, you know, uh, coming out of these fake holidays. We gonna run. We about to run smack in in a couple like sixty to ninety days. We gonna run into a another fake holiday but it is a real holiday it's one of god's days but it's going to be masquerade as man's pagan holiday though holy day <laughs> yeah holy day so and that's the passover you see in my title the passover uh not the easter bunny <laughs> that that just all tells you it's a joke how you gonna put god up and then you got an Easter bunny wrapping around, laying chocolate eggs everywhere. Yeah. Hey, you know, I was born into it. I, I didn't make this up. It, it seemed fun when I was a kid. Yeah, so, I remember hey. when we was kids, we always wonder, Daddy, when are we going to uh, go celebrate Easter like everybody else? And we never knew why our father didn't do it. But now we know why. He knew something was wrong with it. I, I, I thought we were just Pope. Yeah, we still Pope. Then and now, which is that we have some understanding now, but oh, we understand okay. why daddy probably didn't want to do it. We didn't understand back then, but when we started keeping Sabbath and God's holy uh, feast days in uh, what 85? No, no, 80. Uh, no, and that was about 82 when I left yeah, to the 82. army. Yeah. So, uh, you know. No. Yeah, that was 82. Uh, he, he did it when I was going to the army. By the time I got back, you guys wasn't celebrating Christmas or nothing. Well, I was like, 15 years old when he started. I said, what happened? No, he didn't start till I left. I did not. He was not in the uh, worldwide well, he church. He was getting into something. He, yeah. Well, no. Well, I he, mean, he, he took, no, no. He took me to Louisiana when I was 15. I mean, Alabama when I was 15. And then uh, I, he wasn't keeping Sabbath then? No, he wasn't keeping years Sabbath. Later? Oh, okay. No, it was, it was about two years later. I said, like I said, I went to basic training. I, I, I came home. Uh, oh, yeah, no. I actually was going to 83 because I came home on Christmas. I came home. No, no, I came home just before Christmas. I shipped out to Korea 
I didn't know you guys didn't celebrate it till I came back home from Korea in 83 on Christmas and I drove home, uh, made it there on Christmas Eve and no Christmas stuff. Y'all ain't no tree, no nothing. Yeah. Well, we was poor anyway, so. It was just, it was just as naked <laughs> when we did have yeah. the tree. So it wasn't no loss, but yeah. again, that's man. Yeah, what? so what I, what I want to touch on me cut you off is uh well no it's well, your show baby I'm just here well you know you got you no know, well that's the big day coming up what three months Easter yeah that's I you said know. about ninety days away they're gonna be gearing up you know but but the scriptures do mention Easter oh yeah because somebody's gonna get you it's in the book it's in the Bible man yeah. oh and let's go there and take a look at that day but does he say celebrate it that's the key. No, they was actually, it looks like they were celebrating it from what I'm reading. From the word of God? No, I mean. Because you, know, uh, you have to note that they was doing a lot of things in there that God, they was doing against God, and he tells us about it. So, you know, you got you got those guys out there that do that one, they do that sound bite, and they hold on to it and ride it. They'll ride it to death. But just like Moses, Moses came up with a lot of things where people say Moses' law. None of the laws are Moses. They come from, you saw them even in the movies, you see them go up to the mountaintop and get them, but you mm -hmm. still want to say it's Moses. It's not Moses' law. But one of the laws he came up with and put a twist to it was the uh, uh, to get um, to get divorced. And, and Jesus came down and told him, no, it wasn't. It wasn't supposed to be like that from the beginning. You no, you 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 messed up, Moses. No, they ain't. This is how the scripture is supposed to tell you how to do it. But Moses, being like a man, he was feeling sorry in his feelings, so he thought he did a good thing. But we see in the Bible sometimes good things get you killed. Right, right. So in that particular scripture, which I'm looking for, they arrest Peter. And it's it's around the time of the, the uh, feast of unleavened bread. No, the feast of unleavened bread. It says it's the days of unleavened bread. It's the days. The days of unleavened of bread. bread include Passover. Why does it? Why do they call it days of unleavened bread? And it's including the Passover because on the Passover you take unleavened bread, which means without sin. If you didn't know that, for the pastor that's telling you, who mentions unleavened bread but don't teach it, unleavened means without sin. Because the Passover is on that 14th, right? Yeah, 14th day, yeah. And then the next day, that next at that that sundown turns the next day is the next day is right into the Passover on the it's the 15th. So it's all in the days of unleavened bread. Unleavened bread. But they are two different that, feasts. That particular day, they do mention uh uh what's in Herod. You know, Herod's a title, all these people that took place. They're not the same Herod that wanted to kill Jesus' kids. So let's get that right. So Herod wanted to uh kill Peter because he knows because the other Jews were like, yeah, get him. But he wanted to wait till after Easter, which yeah, is probably Easter. was which is probably what the other name for Passover. Okay, we let them have that. But they know it was the days unleavened bread. So it could have been the name for Easter. They just threw that in there. But it wasn't Easter that you think of now, you know, the bunny rabbits, the eggs. You know, you could dress up in a suit on Passover. They don't care, you know, with the real Passover. But for the reason why you celebrate Passover, I'm mean, Easter has nothing to do with Jesus. You know, you're supposed to be celebrating his death. And and, the, and one thing about some pastors will tell you, my like Geno Jennings, why did y'all change the names? He he had a little see that little moment. He was talking about how people change the name, like the temples and so and so's this and so and so church. But you got to know one thing, people. You change the name of the Passover to communion. Yeah, the word communion is in the Bible, but they're not calling the Passover communion. It said, didn't you commune with him? You know, the Lord's Supper. It ain't the Lord's Supper. Which one was it? <laughs> he ain't it, was, it wasn't the Lord's Supper. It wasn't the Last Supper. It no. wasn't a commune supper. They no. communed at the supper, right. but it was, it was the Passover. And the scripture the told you. Yeah. The scripture lets you know that he sent one of his disciples down there to find the guy so we can have this Passover dinner. 
not the last, not the last over dinner, the yeah. Passover. I'm gonna go to First Corinthians 11 and read to people that Paul taught the Gentiles the Passover, not communion, not the Last Supper. He, he mentions the Lord's Supper in First Corinthians 11, but he tells you what day that's the Lord had that dinner. Let's read about it. First Corinthians 11. For I have well, let's no wait, wait. Let's go to First Corinthians one. First Corinthians eleven talks about the ordinances that Paul was passing on to the Gentiles. That these old, old, not new ordinances, old ones. Let's go read about. Well, the newest one is the Passover, but let's read about one. Let's see what Paul says in First Corinthians eleven one and two. Be ye followers of me, even as I am a follow, am a, even as I also am a Christ. Now I praise you, brethren, that remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. Oh, you mean it's like a law? Yeah. One of the things he talks about here is talking about the, uh, the head covering. It's an ordinance. You know, so we ain't going to read all that. So he's in the same chapter. That was chapter, first verse one and two. That dropped down to verse uh, 23, 1 Corinthians eleven twenty-three, And that's and that's talking, he's going to talk about the Passover. Let's read 1 Corinthians eleven twenty-three. 23. For I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you. So we know he wasn't at the Passover dinner with, with the rest of the apostles. No. So the Lord brought this message straight to him. That Jesus, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. We know he took bread, went on the Passover and was betrayed. It wasn't they didn't even call it the Lord's Supper. Well, this is my supper. Well, this is going to be the call to communion. Let's keep reading. When he had given thanks, he broke it and said, "Take eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me." Oh, okay. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. It's right there. You showing his death until he comes. So why are you calling it Easter or communion or the Lord's last supper? It is the Passover. Let's keep going. Wherefore, whosoever eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood, the blood of the Lord. What's one of the ways you can be guilty unworthily? If you're not circumcised. You cannot take this cup or drink this, eat this bread if you're not circumcised. Well, we know that's a whole different, that's a whole different lesson to get into argument. But they don't, that's discussion. not, the, yeah, but that's part of it. Yeah, right. you, you know, I believe in the Lord, I'm going to take this cup. You're not circumcised. That's not the only reason, that's not the only meaning of the scripture, but that's one of them. You'd be guilty of the body and the blood. You go take, go do it uncircumcised. It's the law. I'm pretty sure Paul passed that on to them. Maybe not that moment he just met them. You know, as you, as you read the Bible, people, you'll find that the Paul was adding stuff as he go. He didn't give it to them all at one time. Like even Jesus told you, I can't give you everything. He, he gave you he gave you pieces of puzzle here and there, but they all, he didn't give it to you in order. Right, you, right. Had, you might have one piece, you might have to wait 10 pieces later to figure, oh yeah, this going to that. What I didn't, see, mean, I, I didn't mean that, what I meant was, as Paul was gathering and uh, teaching the Gentiles, he couldn't give them everything at one time. Right. He took his time. Like you get initiated to a, a, a frat. We, we take our time. We just don't throw everything at you at one time. So, yeah, Paul didn't talk about the circumcision here, but he talked about the circumcision later. So, but at first he had to tell them why you're doing the Passover. He had to teach it to them. Of course, he said, I gave you an ordinance. What ordinance is that? No, you know, the ordinance of the Passover. There was an old ordinance, what it was, kill the lamb on the 14th day, and put it up, but now Jesus is that lamb. Let's go read and see Paul call Jesus the lamb, I mean the Passover. Yeah. And if you're not teaching that Jesus is the Passover, there's something wrong. You're not teaching it right, whoever teaches and, and, you wrong. And, 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 and where I want to point, not, not, not to condemn Gino, but it seems like he he, he speaks on that as, as it was just something to talk about. It's it's a real reverence, reverence to have that passed over. That's if we don't get that, if we don't get that right, most of us ain't gonna make it to the get the gifts at the end. You know how you gonna get the the the, the Passover of your sins and have that sin still on your head? 
and, right, and, and, and people look at it blase blase. No, this is a this is a rough, this is a heavy weighted subject. Yeah, he was trying to, need to get it right. Yeah. He said, like, yeah, I, I keep the pants over. Uh-huh. Now, uh huh. What you mean? What you mean? You keep the pants over. I say, I say in the, in the comment box, if you not do, if you keep the pants over, are you keeping the seven of feasts that come out or all the feast days along with it? Of course he's not. He just said that just because he don't want to go deeper into the people start asking questions. Well, I'm here to answer questions for you, people. And, and you know what? And, and, and just to then we can really explode that because now you really look, you got to look at you do the Passover and having been baptized, your sins don't get passed over. Right, right. Well, yeah, I yeah. mean, yeah, if he, it's just another thing. If he just you're not under the blood, it's well, says you're not under the blood. I don't want to accuse Gino of that or anybody. Maybe they are, right. getting, maybe they are getting baptized, and maybe they're doing it in order, but you know what. You can probably do it out of order. Eventually, you're gonna have to get uh, baptized. But if you're a male, you must be circumcised. I don't care if you if you uh, 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 take and, a pass. Yeah. And that point right there, if you if you take that if you take that baptism, when not that one little thing done, it all you've done it's it in vain. Yeah, it's, it's it's mute. It didn't matter. And, and that we could talk about that later because I. That's a big argument because now they they gonna say, well, J.E., you you condemning people? No, the book says it. The book said it. I'm not condemning you. If you read the scripture, you, you'll know what Jesus is gonna do when he returns. He's not gonna let no one in his temple that's not uncircumcised in the heart and down there. Oh yeah, they love to use that in the heart. Yeah, I, in the heart and mind, I'm I'm circumcised. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I think yeah. I can't tell if a man is circumcised. I can't say drop your, but hey, God going to know if you got the cut. I don't know. So y'all out there taking the Passover, what you want to call commune or Lord's Last Supper, you in trouble. You met, you're in trouble if you're doing it every weekend. <laughs> it don't matter. You got to do it on the 14th day, the first one, a bed, people. When is that? Find out. Call, call some Hebrews. They'll teach you. Oh, man, I, I could do it just like I could take a Sabbath any day. Oh yeah, what they say, you know, as often as you do it. What did the G? What did they do often? They didn't. He's not telling you to take the Passover often. He's not telling you every time you eat some bread and wine, you remember the Passover. He tell you remember his death day. That's one time. You don't. His, you don't try to. You think about your birthday every day. You think about Christmas every day, but when you only celebrate it on one day. So if you taking that day, tell us communion, whether it's once a month, twice a month. You're wrong. That's not what it means. People took that scripture and say, hey, do it as often as you want. No, he says, often as you do it, do it in my room. He's not telling you to do it. Paul so he's telling you, you, you do it for the next 30 years. You but do it 30 times yeah. on that day. Yeah. Come he on, said, people. Often, how often, like how often, as often as you go to, uh, it says, often, as often as you go to, uh, 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 Disney World, bring me back some bunny, uh, some I mean, some uh, Mickey Mouse ears. How often you go? Once a year. I only go once a year, so give me some uh, uh, Mickey Mouse ears when you come back. That's it. I didn't say you're going to go often or to go often. They they twist that. But he tells you, you remember his death day, not his death days. <laughs> they don't do Christmas every day, do they? They do Christmas. Why can't? Why do you celebrate Christmas once a year? New Year's once a year, but you cannot keep God's Jesus Passover once a year. You got to do it every Sunday, every once a month. See something wrong with that? That's just logical. Well, anyway, let's go to First Corinthians five and seven. Let's see if Jesus is the Passover, and do you supposed to celebrate the Passover or communion or Lord's Supper? Let's go read it. First Corinthians five and seven. Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened, mean you without sin. For even Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. He's telling you, okay. Now let's read eight. Therefore, let us keep the feast. What feast you think you're talking about? The feast of unleavened bread and Passover, not with old leaven, neither with with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. He's keeping one of those feast days, either Passover or unleavened bread. Whatever you want, he keep it. Paul kept it. You know, 
And you want to, and people want to say it's the communion or it's the Lord's Supper. No, that's not what he called it. This y'all boy Paul, he called it the Passover. Why don't y'all call it the Passover? He does <laughs> mention the word communion. Let me go find that. I think that's uh that's in. Well, you got that word comes from there. You out of that word, you get communism. You get this. That means everything is commune. You know, in communism and Marxism, the state runs everything. The state own and they pass it out. Everybody is is like a co-op. They own. They commune. Well, no. It, come on, yeah. man. It's Passover dinner. Yeah, let's go read. He's the new read. Passover. This is First Corinthians ten, First Corinthians ten and fourteen. No, 1 Corinthians 10 and 16. 1 Corinthians 10 and 16. The cup of blessing which we which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread we eat, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? Mm. Does that sound like he's telling you it's communion? They you communion, you communing with the blood of Christ. Mm. Okay, you want to call it communion? Or are you doing on the 14th day, the first one, A-B? No. You're not. You're doing this every Sunday, once a month. The word communion is in the Bible and the word Easter. I'm not denying that. But you cannot call it the Passover, those things. If you made a mistake calling the Passover, fine. But you can't, you can't make the mistake on the day you're doing it. Oh, you missed the, you missed the blood. The blood, you ain't under the blood then. He only, you know, you if you can't celebrate Christmas on a Monday and it's on Saturday, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, like you said, Easter is in the Bible, but how yeah. many times is it in the Bible? But how many times he tells you to take the Passover? He, he tells times. you that several times. He he don't keep mentioning Easter. Yeah, Paul tells you to take the Passover. Paul talked to Gentiles in First Corinthians 11 about the Passover. He said, "This is my. These are the ordinances." People don't like to read that, you know. Some people mm. had to bring that too. Wait, wait, this is an ordinance. He got two ordinances he gave in uh first Corinthians 11. one about the head covering and one about uh the Passover. Mm, mm, mm. This is what you're gonna do on this day. See, they don't never read that. Wow, it's an ordinance. He's telling you, so don't tell me we don't supposed to keep the old keep the uh keep the Passover. Then we go, go ahead. And on that Passover, as not if they do the Easter, everybody's in the store shopping and this and that. Right. I mean, you know, when pa Passover's not Passover is not a it's not a Sabbath. You can go shop, you can cook dinner. But when that sun go down the next day after Passover, it's it's the uh, first first night on living bread. That's a high Sabbath day. As a matter of fact. That's the day Jesus went into right before he went to the grave. And it wasn't on the Friday because he didn't come out the ground on the oh, Sunday. Wait, wait a minute. You're going to take Good Friday from him, man? You're going to take Easter and Good Friday from him? They keep it all, but Jesus ain't for Jesus. <laughs> he didn't come out that grave on Sunday, folks. And, and see, that's what Dennis, they... Elder Mike's, Geno Jennings, all you guys. No Sunday resurrection. How do you get if he went in the grave on Friday, he went in the grave any day. How did he come out of the grave on Sunday morning? You can't get three days, three nights. When y'all learn how to add up three days and three nights, you would realize, oh, he couldn't come out of the grave that day. It wasn't four days and three nights. It'd be four and a half days or, four, or three days and five or six hours. Yeah. No, he said three days, and three nights. And I, and I guess if we take that good Friday from him, then... Easter be messed up on that Sunday. So I guess to them, yeah. it's a package deal. They make yeah. a lot of money between that Friday and that Sunday. Yeah, but they don't know. Yeah, you know, they don't know that they in the era. Big time. Yeah. That's why we're here to show the error, not to condemn everybody. Oh, we have fun talking stuff, you know. It's, you but know, but, but it's fun. still to show the error. If you yeah. have that good Friday, everybody, you know, you don't go to school. But then what they do for Easter Sunday, they pollute that Saturday, that Sabbath Saturday, yeah. with shopping to go get the leisure suit shopping, for Sunday. Barbecuing the pork chops and the, the dinners. They pollute that day plus their own day. 
<laughs> well, no, no, no. The Sunday, you know, you can cook. I'm sorry, they didn't prove that day. If you could, if that was a Saturday, you allowed to cook food. Well, they, they proved blew, that whole they... day with cooking unclean food. And well, then you know, I gotta add this. They can pray over it, man. It said they can pray and they can eat it. You know, since you brought up some food, we got four or five minutes. I was, you know, I'm, I, hey, nine and a half times. I almost finished reading that first, uh, I mean, that New Testament. It'd be ten times, nine times, people. Nine times. I'll be done soon. I think somebody out there probably beat you. I know they got 30 years in the game. Yeah, but I get it. It was 30 years some other Bible. They ain't reading the same Bible I am. Like, like the Bob Sharp brother. He got 45 years, 45 years. Bro. Hey, 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 45 hey. years of turning them pages till they saw Hey, hey, what I had here, he cut my hair good, man. We ain't yeah, gonna he, talk he about it. He the concordian with that Bible where he bent them pages back. Hey, hey, you, you see he got a lot of time on them pages, man. Yeah, you I see, see he can play music with him. Hey, 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 that, that's, a, that's a deacon that been in the trenches, baby. Yeah, that, that's for sure. Been in the he, trenches. He in the wrong, in the wrong war. Hey, <laughs> he man, the wrong... He, he guarding the pork chop sandwiches. He let the pastor eat first. Hey, everybody back. Let the pastor come in. Yeah, he, he's head of the deacon board, man. Yeah, that man got his badge. You trying to take his badges from him. Well, God said he's not respected persons. <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna read uh, you know, this would kill me. This is Geno Jennings and all the pork eating people, but not just him. They like to go to uh Geno look like he kind of fit. He might not eat pork, man. Oh yeah, he probably don't, but he's he 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 uh he's uh con condoning it. Oh, he don't condemn it. No, no, he said that's something. No, but he go right here. This what crack me up. Let's read Acts eleven. This is when Peter had that dream. You know, Acts eleven and six. He said, "Upon which, when I had fastened my eyes, I considered my and saw four footed beasts of the earth and wild beasts, creeping things and, and fowls there. And I heard a voice saying unto me, Rise, Peter, slay and eat.'" But I said, but I said, not so, Lord, for nothing common unclean has had had at any time entered into my mouth. But the voice answered me again from heaven, what, what God had cleansed that call not thou common. And this was done three times, and all all were drawn up into heaven. But that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. But but that but that goes on the line where everybody glad see they see he didn't say pork wasn't clean no he was talking about peter going meet going to meet the uh italian yeah i wanted to read that i wanted to read and see what he said and, th and this was done but people take that and run when they say what well, god has made uh is not clean and common so right, they right. talk they take that as the meat no they was talking about the man they was talking about the guy from the Italian band. No, I want to go. To, no, I know that. I'm going to go to the one. Okay, this is what I want. So, in Acts ten and, and ten and seventeen, Peter had Peter. This is the vision happens. In Acts eleven, he's telling he telling his brother what happened. So, if you go to Acts ten and. And, and, and now, oh, Acts 10 and 17. This is what he's thinking about. He says, So now, while Peter doubted in his mind himself with the vision which he had seen, should make should, now why Peter doubted in himself that this vision which he had seen should mean he don't know what it means. He didn't say, Oh, I can eat pork now. No, behold, the men which were sent from Cornelius had made inquiry for Simon's house and stood before the gate. Right? 19. While Peter thought on the vision, the spirit said unto him, Behold, three men seek thee. He was thinking about it. what does it mean? Show me in the scripture where he said, Oh, they're talking about pork. I can eat unclean food. No, don't say that. Let's drop down to uh 28. Well, people got that and ran with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they skip all that. Acts 10 and 28. He said unto them, Ye know how it is unlawful for men that is a Jew to keep company or come unto one another of another nation. But God showed me that I should not call any man common or unclean. Do you know these people take that, switch that, and try to say he's talking about the food too? Gino real good at that. How you see that? He didn't say that. But, and, and, and you know, in them making that statement, 
they still put their self in when they want to say there's no dietary law. Yes, it is, because you wouldn't have made that statement that Peter was talking about the food. So right. that lets you know that you know about yeah, you know about the, the dietary law. Yeah, but, he, but he's telling you right here. Hey, he's talking about men. He's talking about the men aren't common. He's talking yeah. about the food. Because yeah. he didn't know where in the other scripture he says he died. What does he what did he mean? He don't know what he means. And then he figures out what he's talking about when he run into the people. Oh, now we can now we can send this word to the unclean lips or the uncircumcised can stop taking this word. Yeah. These people take that and switch it upside down. I, now, I just don't understand. But Peter wasn't Peter didn't end up being the main man going to the um Gentiles. He made he made Paul the Gentile guy, yes, right? Paul became Gentile, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that just initiated but, getting but, but Peter, on. but Peter initiated because Peter's the man. He get the he got the key to the kingdom. Right, right. So why did Peter say, Oh yeah, no more pork? Oh yeah, cool. I'm gonna pass that on to the rest of the brethren. He didn't say that. And none of the scriptures they go to, they go to Acts, they try to prove it, they go to uh first Corinthians, first Timothy four, they go to um Romans 14, they go all these places trying to find out the dietary laws dead. No, how about you go to Isaiah 66 and 15, well, he's going to kill you for eating pork. And on that note, man, our time is up. And and it also tells them in the Leviticus about Yeah, that's what you You're always talking about what's holiness. What's holiness? It tells you holiness is not eating unclean food. That's holiness. You think well, that's not being holy? Well, how are they going to have their Sunday dinners down there for the pastor and celebrate his anniversary, man? You you taking too much from them, man. They can't deal with this, man. Oh, they're gonna deal with it. Well, he's they sure can't up. deal with this. You taking you taking the God Jesus from this sweet Jesus from him, man. Man, listen, you guys, you guys I'm, trying rough, help, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to help them avoid the great tribulation, then lake of fire. Man, so they say you going to hell for eating pork chops. I can't say man, that. They saying that sweet Jesus will help them do it. Yeah, they don't the need game. a couple of old Israelite guys trying to show, tell them anything. And oh, with that, man, we two minutes past. So, hey, yeah, I guess we will see you all next week. So later on, J.E. and I'm yeah. A.J. All right. See y'all later. Time, people, put the yeah. porch up down. <laughs> hey, this is your buddy A.J. Williams, the media guy. Come join me and J.E. Williams for one of the most educational, enlightening, and entertaining discussions revolving the Creator's Gospel on the Word or the World show live on Facebook at Word or World and YouTube page Williams Media Group, LLC. That's live every Monday evening, 7 p.m. and on Tuesdays, a re-air on 102.3 FM, The Rejoice, Crawford.